Welcome back to Facing Waves, where this week, body glove athletes Luke Hopkins and Ann Pagano are exploring BC's beautiful Sunshine Coast. This is my third time to Egmont, and Luke has been coming here for many, many years previous to when we started coming in 2008. So we're staying at the Back Eddy Pub and Marina, and they have cabins and a campground, and then they also have these domes that have this great sunrise view. It's just a, a unique setting to stay in. And then also rent paddle boards and kayaks so you can get out there on the water and check out new things. We say the adventure begins at the end of the road because we are almost literally at the end of the road. So we're close to Vancouver in that we're only a 40 minute ferry ride and a 90 minute drive. But then you get into this very remote wilderness area very quickly. And there's a lot of things that you can do if you just want to stay here for three or four days. Those three or four days can be completely filled up. So I've been visiting the Sunshine Coast for years and I always come back primarily because of this one thing. Skookumchuk. Skookumchuk Wave and Tidal Rapid are really located in a very remote spot and you have to paddle there or you have to walk there or if you have a one wheel which is this revolutionary electric board sport you can actually ride one of those on this off-road trail through this somewhat old growth forest with giant ferns. The feeling of riding a one wheel on the trail is a lot like the feeling of surfing the Skookumchuk Wave. Skookumchuk, the direct translation is strong water. And it's a natural phenomenon where there's this huge tidal rapid that forms every time the tide shifts. So the tide current goes two different directions twice a day, and there's always a max flood, which is when the wave forms. And so we were there during a maximum tidal event where the Skookumchuk wave will form and form this giant standing wave. The standing wave on this trip got all the way up to 17 knots, which is huge. That means the water is going through this wave, forming a standing wave, and it's flowing at 17 knots, which is roughly 20 miles an hour. This makes for a dream come true for someone who loves to surf a paddleboard like myself. So the wave is just now starting to form, and this is a level where it's nothing but fun. Like, go surfing with your friends, the wave is nice and small downstream. The boils and eddy lines and whirlpools aren't very big at all. So it's great to go out there and just surf, have fun, laugh, and enjoy the build of Skookum Truck until it gets really big. The kayakers are essentially playing. I mean, it's called kayak surfing and they're playing on the wave. So they're catching the wave and they're spinning and flipping and having fun and they're doing spins around each other and aerial moves and it's fun to watch because it's definitely different from sea kayaking and then most river running kayaking that you imagine you're just going downstream this they're hanging out and they're going big Trying to act my age. Yeah, I wanna know. What's also really terrifying is for me the white water below. So it's it's not a beginner friendly location once it gets up there. But once you come off the wave, there's these monster crashing waves just after, and then the entire flow of the current goes into the Bay of Seashell and it creates these giant whirlpools. And if you hit the whirlpools at the wrong time, which I actually did on one of my surfs, and it pulled me down for 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. I can't really remember, but I remember holding onto my board for dear life, thinking this is the best personal flow station device I'm gonna have, so I better hold on tight. Well, that was like the worst swim I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, it was a board twisting. Yeah. So I was holding on for dear life. I was actually grabbing my foot strap and the metal on my foot strap was cutting into my hand, so I have a few cuts on my hand here and here because I was not gonna let go of that foot strap, <laughs> no matter what. And I just remember thinking about that moment and thinking about the importance of 
having the right gear, having a leash on my board, having two PFDs on, which I had this armor PFD and another PFD on top. It was an experience to remember and it's gonna make me like carefully check every little piece of gear every time I go surfing at Skookumchuck.